Okay, so fast forward if you don't want the elephant and horse analogy, but that might help you. So the elephants are 1,000 kilograms and the horses are 600. And you have a box with elephants and or horses in there. This is analogous to the empirical formula calculations in a bit. If 1,600 kilograms, you must have one elephant and one horse. That's unambiguous. 1,800 kilograms, well, that's three horses. Again, no extra data is needed. 2,600 kilograms, you've got a couple of elephants and a horse. But this is problematic. 6,000 kilograms, well, that could be six elephants, could be 10 horses, or it could be a combination. So we need more data to ascertain which of those three is correct. And so if I tell you it's 50-50 by mass, then that extra information allows you to work out that it's E3H5. Now, how did you do that? Let's try one you can't do in your head. 62.5% uh, elephants by mass and 37.5% horses. What's the empirical formula or what's the simplest ratio between elephants and horses? That's the question. So write the symbols out large, first of all, and then put divide by, well, 1,000 is the mass of one elephant and 600, well, that's the mass of one horse. And on top of that fraction that you've created, put the percentages. Now, you could put the mass of elephants and the mass of horses involved as well, but we're putting the percentages gives the same answer. Okay, do the simple division. Now, we need integers here, and neither of these is going to give us an integer. So divide by the smallest number, or in this case, uh, they're the same number, but divide by the smallest number, and more often than not, integers will pop out. Oh, so there's one elephant for every one horse. You can leave the ones or take them away. It doesn't really matter if it's a one. Right, well, let's look at a chemistry example. So the, the simplest one we can do is 56 grams of iron, 32 grams of sulfur. So we put the molar mass at the bottom of the fraction and the mass involved at the top. Now, like before, you could put percentage masses. It still gives you the same. When we calculate that, that's a one-to-one -one ratio. So there's one iron atom for one sulfur. This is a medium difficulty one. So again, put both symbols in big, put the molar mass at the bottom of the fraction, and at the top, put the mass or the percentage. So you're actually working out the moles each time. Now it's tempting here to say it's one to four, but that would be wrong. You've rounded a bit too early. That 1.33, don't round that down to one. Again, you want to divide by the smallest number, 1.33, and that should give you a, the answer or close to it, and then you can fix it. C1H3, excellent. So the simplest ratio between carbon and hydrogen is one carbon for three hydrogens. And this one's really quite nasty. So it's a hydrocarbon, so it's carbon and hydrogen. Let's say X and Y, because I don't know more about it. And I'm making carbon dioxide and water. Well, if there's X carbons, I can put that there. And it's Y over 2 would be the coefficient for water if there's Y hydrogens. So I'm going to work out the moles of each one. 0 0.25 mass over molar mass. And again, 0 0.5 moles is the mass over the molar mass. Well, actually, now I know what X and Y over 2 really is. The coefficients uh, represent the moles. And so I get C, 0 0.25, H1, divide by the smallest to get my final answer. The IB would insist you use decimal places uh, in the molar mass, but for clarity's sake, I'm not using them here. 